Yo, what's up? Oh, why does it say that my screen is black? Alright, there we go. What's up? Morning, everyone. Today is uh, June 1st, 2021. And uh, AMC is once again going at it this morning. Rising, rising quite a bit from like... Uh, End of the day, about twenty six eighteen to about thirty dollars, thirty fifty five right now. It is up to sixteen and a half ish percent. So really, really great stuff from AMC. Hold on, let me pull this thing up a bit. Yeah. Uh, here, let me pull this up a bit, and then let me increase this thing real quick. Hold up. But yeah, AMC is doing really well this morning. Let me transform this. Edit transform. Okay. And then let's do crop from the bottom. Let's do like 50, right? Or uh, let's do like 20, 20, 20 looks good. All right, but yeah. So AMC is running this morning. 30, 51, not bad. Uh, GME on the other hand, I mean, it's basically back to like where it was trading mostly midday yesterday. It is up to uh up another up 6% pre-market so really could be better but i mean i feel like a lot of the the craze for gme is kind of over but we do have amc you know obviously up pushing quite a bit we've got really spy uh wanting to hit new highs actually might even be really close to a new all-time high it probably hit it like you know very very soon probably today honestly because this was pre-market and if these numbers hold we'll probably hit a new all-time high in spy which is awesome we've got q finally held that trend line and looks like it wants to keep pushing forward and then we've got a bunch of other stocks that have just you know been on a tear we've got palantir which had that huge run uh yeah uh, last friday on the pre-market going all the way up to almost 25 bucks and now it's still going in the pre-market so palantir has also been holding up pretty strong Hopefully, you know, we could pretty much break through this little gap and then start another trend going upwards. We got Tesla green in the pre-market, kind of holding like last uh, Friday's price. And then we have, you know, some other things going on too. Here, let me see. Why can't it show chat right now? For some reason, that isn't working for me. I don't know. But yeah, not looking too bad for the pre-market or not looking too bad for uh, pre-market, early market time. AMD's up, Nvidia's up. A lot of these chip makers are are starting to recover, which is great. Facebook down. I don't know. A lot of lot of lot of good stuff happening, but some of the recovery stocks, I mean, they're not doing insanely well. We've got wind down a bit. Or wind is actually up uh up to like basically where it was at on Friday. Hmm, Baba, wow, Baba had a really nice increase. How much of a price run was that? We got Baba from here going up there. That's almost a 5% jump, 4.73% 4, 4 jump on, on Baba in the pre-market. That's awesome. I don't own any, though. I wish I did. Bitcoin, kind of kind of just relaxing at this $36,000 mark seems every time you get a really big pump on Bitcoin, it just gets eaten away. We had it from the 28,000 bounce, I think it was. Or no, like the 31,000 bounce to the 40,000. And then that just got, you know, obviously taken back down. We tried to bounce again yesterday. That got, that's starting to get taken back down. So, a lot of, uh, a lot of tension in the crypto markets. We've got Roblox absolutely killing it. Roblox has just been on a tear. Up to $95 right now. And then AMC. I mean, look at this. Look at this crazy four-hour chart. This thing just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. It doesn't care whatsoever. Mm. <clears throat> All right. All right. Put some Drake on in the back. Yo, Max, why isn't it showing my chat? It says chat might not be. Okay, there we go. Dude, Max, I didn't even see you in here. My bad, bro. 
yeah it's saying it was like showing my top chat but the youtube live chat wasn't showing so i just opened it on my phone all right you want to play some drake you think drake will get me copyrighted though i'm not trying to get copyrighted you feel <laughs> i'm not trying to get copyrighted so i think we gotta hold off on the drake but i will play like i will play like some stream beats or something i'll play like some stream beats just to see what do we got we got a liquidity live set Eh. let's do what is there to do we could do a drum and bass i like drum and bass hopefully this isn't uh super copyrighted yeah, I think that should be fine. All right, perfect. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, 3053, not bad. Now, I wonder how short interest is looking on this this morning. If it's like super high. Oh, wait. This actually kind of sounds NCP. Yeah, this this definitely isn't NCP. So, or copyrighted. So, I'll play this one. Mm. Oh yeah, let me throw this in uh dream trading. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Copy this. See how this looks actually. <coughs> All right. Copy, refresh. Oh no, what's happening? It's like not letting me load 1080p for some reason. That is strange. All right. Well, let's uh throw us in dream trading real quick. Hmm. Bet. Okay. Now that I put that in the uh, in the Discord. We should be good. See what CMEC has to say this morning. CMEC is talking about striving for economic equality. Has corporate America made progress? Uh, not really. Corporate America has not made any progress. <laughs> Oh, I should probably take off the uh, the sniper because I don't think we really need a sniper right here. Sniper is great if uh, if I'm actually like looking to trade AMC right now, but I'm not really looking to trade AMC right now. I'm just kind of holding the stock that I have and then holding the calls that I have, and then I'm gonna let that I'm gonna let that do that. But there's a lot of other things I'm holding right now. We've got Tesla up significantly in the pre market compared to that massive dump we had. At the midday, we got GameStop still going up. It's uh up to midday's prices yesterday, and then we have obviously the the AMC, you know, just 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 chugging along, doing its thing. Thirty forty one. I think we will hit brand new spy all time highs today. We are so close to hitting them. Like look at that. We are we are probably like half a percent. No, we are zero point one. Like we're we're less than 0.2 percent away from all-time highs on spy which is awesome the market the market deserves this brand new all-time high tech on the other hand tech needs to run man we've just been waiting on like some of this tech tech stocks to run because they've just been chilling at this uh at this like white line that's been falling we bounce once twice three four five even six times we could say it's bounced six times on here now i think once we obviously pass through this uh 335 335 like 60 ish uh we'll run you know obviously straight over to like brand new all-time highs i mean i'm feeling it dude once you can pass like 335.60 we're going we're going to 343 and that's like what a two and a half percent run we can literally knock that out in a day that is so easy for us to do we could probably end up doing this like today or tomorrow because there's probably still like some volume that we're gonna get from Memorial Day. Obviously, the market not being open yesterday, so. 
we can get some volume over there got pounds here still pushing 23 26 happy for pounds here holders i'm one of them and then uh, amc dude can't stop the amcers short squeeze i want to see how how high actually will we squeeze like will we squeeze back to the prices of friday like are we gonna start retesting the 3679 or 3672 mark i don't know maybe we will how much of a run more would we need that'd probably be like what a 20 percent run again on top of where we were at yeah so on top of like the 17 percent that we're up today we would need another basically 20 percent run which i mean is viable right definitely viable but from like the closing that would that would be a literally 40 percent run in a day and i can't lie like it, it's possible it's definitely possible because we did have it on thursday where thursday it looked like we peaked at uh 29 and then we had uh it fall in like the after hours and then boom it shot up do you think it's worth investing today in amc uh personally no i think that like I think if we start retesting uh 36 maybe uh you could still you could still play this range and definitely get some definitely get some gains play the range but obviously if we start dumping right off the pre right after uh market opens then you'd probably want to be careful but I, I genuinely think this could push up the we had a support that was touched kind of and then we're just pushing forward more Kind of like a kind of like a head and shoulders ish but if you don't have any amc i mean i would be very very careful actually buying here personally i wouldn't but there is some room to obviously make some profit you know you could you could easily finesse a, a quick five percent you're not you're not obviously going to be making you know 30 40 percent 100 percent like uh the people who gone into amc early but you could definitely make some pretty you could definitely make like a good five ten percent if if it runs which is not bad same thing with gme gme definitely had its run already and it's still pretty overextended and i think june 5th actually is when amc is gonna dilute more right let's check it out june 5th uh amc dilution i'm pretty sure Oh, AMC Entertainment backtracks on massive 500 million share dilution plan. AMC Holdings isn't going to dilute investors after all. Oh, wow. It will just sell 43 million new shares. Okay, this is pretty great for the stock, actually. Gross proceeds of about $500 million of the current stock prices. It would go to general corporate purposes, including working capital, repaying and refinancing, redeeming, and repurchasing its ex existing debt. Anticipated 148 million compared to 948 million last year, with a just loss of 295 million. So they could literally pay off last year's uh, debts, or last year's losses, and this year's losses. Oh, no, 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 uh, 3.1 million was a year ago. So they could basically pay off 2020's losses with however much money. I think it should be around like $500 million that they'll get uh, from, from AMC issuing new stock. It will dilute shareholders a little bit, but uh, shares outstanding AMC. Let's check that out. I wonder how many shares they have outstanding. So they right now have uh, 450 million. So this would bring it up to like 500 million shares. Uh, so it's like what a 10%, a little bit more than a 10% uh, increase. And if we were to like compare that to like how much the price would fall, the price should fall like what three dollars. So that bring us back up to 27. Yeah, this is not going to hurt the stock at all. If anything, this will. If anything, this uh, share issuance will push up the stock because that just means the company's in a way safer spot because they'll have five hundred million dollars cash basically, like 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 at their disposal, ready to go. So definitely not something to worry about at all. I think. 
spy still pushing? No, spy is uh, spy's cooling it now. It was going for 422.60, but now it's down to 422. It's relaxing now. GME kind of still in the same same direction. We've got wow net net coming back down to earth. Tesla as well. Wow, Tesla was looking pretty good in the pre market. It was almost back up to its Friday highs, but now we're back down to 620 628, almost a little lower actually. wonder what uber has been up to i have not checked out this uber chart in a really long time uber is at 51 dollars so it, it bounced off of a pretty nice support let's check the four hour yeah it bounced off of like its support or its highs from the early early ipo days wow that's a uh, that's pretty cool to see what's amazon been up to amazon has just been completely flat for the past literal year literal year amazon has been flat i guess not really because uh today's what june 1st i mean it's still up from 2500 to like 3200 how much of a gain is that 2500 to 3800 how much is that 25 to i mean it's still up like 30 percent any stocks worth investing for a quick flips today honestly you could probably just follow amc uh because there's just gonna be so much volume in it follow that palantir is also a pretty good one i Palantir is like one that usually can run super early in the morning and then you can just like short it towards the end of the day because it, it just likes to die. AMD as well is a pretty good one. AMD is like, it usually trades in a range but then actually ends up most of the time. I'm not really like much of a big day trader though so I, I don't really have a good answer for you. I'm more of like a long term holder uh, or like a long term option really holder. because i guess i guess for me it's like a lot more safer obviously it's a lot more safer for me to to hold long term and I, I feel way more confident in that personally so that's what i do however right now i am in this trade uh it's a forex trade let me show you gbp usd so if amc drops once market opens don't invest but if it starts going up get in i wouldn't say like you know follow that with like wisdom or you know follow it as fact but i say that's a pretty good pretty good uh pretty good strategy because you want to see if like the volume is obviously there right if momentum is there and if momentum is continuously carrying it then yeah Ooh, so hopefully this, this doesn't actually bounce yeah hopefully this doesn't bounce right here it looks like it can uh, hopefully this rejects and then we fall all the way down then i can make a good amount of cash because I'm, I'm short uh gbp usd right now so this just needs to fall like there 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 and then it just needs to fall all the way down basically and i'll make a killing yeah like don't trust that like with wisdom obviously because for example yes uh friday we had it run all the way up to 37 in the beginning um and then you know after that that pump it fell all the way back down so that's what i'm saying you could definitely scalp this for like maybe five percent uh right at the open like but you got to get in like quick 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 because if you stay in it you're gonna be a bag holder for sure especially because volume right now is super low look at this it's 846 and uh 846 of last time was about how much how much volume is that let me try this down okay at 845 la uh on friday volume was about 13,000 and right now it is about 2,000 so volume is quite low this morning compared to I guess where it was last last week but yeah we could have that we could have a big spike at the pre-market and then fall 8.5 million shares of AMC bought at $27 yeah but $27 is all the way down there dude recently I mean that guy's up big dude look 27 or let's do like 27 to whoops where's my little measuring stick let's do 2701 so right now that dude is up 13 percent so he's probably gonna sell real quick 
27% of, uh, or how much percent did I say? 13%? Let's see. From here to here. That's like what? Yeah, 13.7% of 8.5 million. That is a lot of money. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. That is a crap load of money. But he's probably going to sell. But that's what I'm saying. Like, he's probably, that person is probably like a hedge funder or like some really rich, rich Wall Street better. Or it's like Roaring Kitty. He's going to ride this wave up and then dump. Because this is a pretty good this is gonna be a pretty strong resistance. Now if we pass that, I'll be in a little bit of trouble because I'm selling calls, but you know, we'll see what happens. It's definitely like something you'll remember though. We definitely wow, we held on that uh 200 day moving average pretty nicely. Unfortunately on like every other chart though, you can't really use that. The one minute you can't use it three minute i mean kinda not really five minute really is where the 200 moving average uh kind of helped a bit let's see if we can draw some lines here let's draw from like right there kind of continue this pattern see if you like it doesn't really work because it's too parabolic I don't have Robinhood account. Do you think investing off Cash App is fine for quick flips? No, I wouldn't use Cash App. I wouldn't use Cash App simply because of the spreads. If anything, if I were you, I'd make a TD Ameritrade. Uh, I'd make a TD Ameritrade. This is the best uh, brokerage, in my opinion. TD Ameritrade. Oh, don't want to log into my account. But yeah, TD Ameritrade is probably the best. That's what I use. Uh, think or swim. But if you're actually pretty serious about getting into investing and stuff, definitely, uh, definitely don't use Cash App, hundred percent. Thinkorswim, yes sir, that's what I use. Love Thinkorswim. I used to use Robinhood when I first started, when I initially started. But then I, I just realized that, like, wait a second, Robinhood is just like, not, like not that great. I mean, it's great for for beginners, and it's great if like you want to buy Dogecoin not even but once once you like kind of mature a bit you realize that like it's not that great but yo amc's pushing 30 30 90 not bad it's going quite a bit it's trying to go at least 31 31 soon i think 31 soon oh. all right yeah 31 31 soon hopefully by the way, does like, yo, if you boys are still here, does like the mic sound good or is it like kind of quiet or is it too loud? Like, just let me know because this is literally a brand new mic. I got it uh, on Saturday. No, I got it on Sunday. So like, I kind of want to know if it's good. Good. All right. As long as it's not like too loud or anything. I just don't want it to be, I don't want it to be too loud or too quiet or whatever. Just want it to sound good. What are you guys holding? Like stock wise or options wise? I myself have quite a bit of stocks. Not too many options. Really no options actually. I got myself some American Airlines, some AMC, some AMD, DraftKings, we got some Ford. General Motors. Don't know why I have this one, but it's up 15%. Uh, MGM, some Palantir, some Spy, some QQQ, some Tesla, some VU, some VTI. So we've got a lot of uh, index funds really in my portfolio. That's what I like holding a lot of indexes. 31. We pushed to 31.20, but we kind of fell back down. It's okay though. Whoa, Shopify is, has just ran like crazy. Look at this chart. Shop. Look at this daily chart on Shop, man. Imagine you would have gone in at like 300 bucks. I actually remember being in high school and people were talking about Shopify, about how they got into Shopify at like 80 bucks and then went to 100 bucks. And Shopify is now at twelve hundred dollars. Can you imagine if I like just bought Shopify down here, like one hundred twenty bucks? You'd literally be up a thousand percent. It's pretty nutty.
Ooh, he fell back down under the uh, 31 mark. Unfortunate. 399 though. Can't win them all, but you can definitely win most. $35 before noon on AMC, you think so? $35, that's a pretty big run, dude. 35 before noon, and then what happens after noon? Do we dump all the way back down? Let's see, 35, that is another 12, that is another like 12% run. Yeah, about like 12 and a half -ish percent run. I could see it. I could see it happening. There's no no doubt that we could literally hit that in probably like the first two, three candles. Yeah, that's possible. I definitely think we'll fall back down though if we reject that 3675. Cause right now I'm selling $37 calls. So I sold calls like right above where it's peaked. And when I think when I sold my calls, I was down uh when 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 I sold my calls, instantly I was up like a grand. And when it hit this point, I think I was down like two and a half grand. So it was not cool. Calling it. Are you are you putting any money where your mouth is? Do you have any do you have anything right now? Do you have any calls or AMC stock or anything? Or are you just or are you just calling it for calling its sake? <laughs> Cause if you had like uh you know calls or anything then then you could be a happy guy i don't i don't think it'll okay so for me my calls expire on the let's check so my calls actually expire on the uh on june 11th which means that i need let's go to like the four hour so that means I need AMC to be under I need AMC to be under 37 by June 11th basically so like right here I need AMC to be under 37 right there which is that possible I mean absolutely is that probable absolutely let's go to like 37 ish there we go 37 to 37 i need amc to be under here by here as long as it's under here i i'll be happy because judging by the other pumps we have the massive pump over there and then it, it you know it falls which we already had right like look we can only look at this it's like kind of textbook we had this big run and then it falls so we had this big run uh with the, with the spike and then it fell right then since it's fallen so much obviously people are like yeah this will run again so then we have uh we have this secondary push which looks like we're having right now we're having this nice secondary push uh and then we just dump back down uh so i'm hoping all of that price action really happens before my strike because if this kind of continues going up 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 then crash and then people see the crash and then it continues going back up then i could be in a bit of trouble if we somehow shoot to new highs by june 11th but if we don't i mean theta gang will win theta gang will win and that's what you want we want theta gang to win right here the volume in the pre-market is kind of increasing it is going up volume is increasing now it is at least that was a uh, 34,000 volume 24,000 this one is uh 6,000 right now almost 7,000 it's struggling to hold this 31 though struggling to hold 31 which is a bit unfortunate but it it's uh it's expected that it'll probably pass it it did the same thing pre-market last time kind of it opened up then it fell back down and then we had this massive massive big push up in the markets Jimmy is doing the same thing? Kinda. Jimmy. Like, dude, Jimmy is just so boring. What a boring stock. 
now it's boring at least. It's just relaxing at that one point. Ooh, Spy taking a little dump after that pretty big pre-market run. Chilling at 422. Already passed the 420. Lol, I got shares. Okay. Well, if you have shares, that's like, that's like, okay. Right? Because, I mean, if you have shares, then you're kind of part of the, You're kind of part of it. We'll see, though. Palantir. Good. Tesla. Tesla once again falling back down. I'm happy to see AMC, uh, AMD, whoop, not AMC, AMD is up. I've got nice position in AMD. Happy to see it be completely winning for me. Good day to own uh, some AMD, that's for sure. CBOE volatility index is currently at the lowest it's been before here. Let's, uh, let me change it up to this real quick. See, look at that. CBOE volatility is at the lowest it's been. And look at that. NASDAQ features are up 55. Dow Jones features are up 261. And then S&P 500 features are up 22. So that's pretty good. That's good stuff. And since uh, volatility is super duper low, that means that SPY is just chugging up pretty naturally. It's just going. Glad to see it. Let's see what CNBC has to say, though. Maybe they've got something cool to tell us. Great. So I don't think anything has necessarily uh, been ordained here, but it does seem as if uh, some market is, for stocks. Uh, is in what a, investors a should know. It means that firm, sell and main go uh, away did not work this year. It, it, it does not feel like we did the sell and main go away. Obviously, oh my we God. did the sell, she but just what said about it. the going away? You think people will be in this through the summer? Or can we she just said it. <laughs> doldrums once you get into June and, or July and August? You know, I, I do think the market has slowed down. You would think it would continue to slow down, except we're seeing this revival of interest in the meme stocks and some of the revival more of interest yeah so it's difficult Dude, to say if it's she literally be said sell in may across the board and i said sell uh, in may way, right before may doesn't mean may is weak it means that the weaker six months of the year start in may and into june it's actually more like july things get dicey then july okay mike always good to see you so you gotta be careful Hopefully for july boys person very Absolutely. soon too yep. Folks, it has been well over a year since we were all here together at the NASDAQ. In fact, this is Future my first Starbucks session highs, in 14 yep. months. Had it today, broke back in, been making coffee Oh my god, they, went to, they all went to like Starbucks and, and then broke down. And they're all like anyway. super, they're all sitting together with like good, no masks uh, or anything. Oh, I thought you were going to say awesome. good run. Yeah. This shows that like, <laughs> what you were the world's coming back to normal. No, it's good to, it's good to be back. It's good, it feels good, everything went pretty well. Squawk makes full return, wow. Who would have thought that we'd we're we'd be right back at the full return. Other. See each other. Yeah. Get in. Uh, get in on. Uh, Ooh, AMC. Oh, uh, Robinhood should be open for pre-market right now. So let's actually go back. In a, let's go back and, and see how Robinhood is so going to be doing in uh, in the morning here. Let's uh, go back to Maine. And since Robinhood is open for pre-market, we should see a lot more people buying some. Uh, some. We should see some people buying AMC now. I imagine. Since Robinhood's open, right? That's usually when we see a pretty big spike. I'll let me close Discord. Don't need that open. And it's 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 definitely moving now. We're going back. We're getting some volume. Look at that. Not much though. Check out the five minute chart. Five minute chart. It's showing that we're we're basically trending up. Let's check out the let's check, let's try to draw, draw some uh, a line or two. Let's start from like right there, and just push and let's see if this let's see how long this line will hold uh it does seem pretty accurate to me kind of pushes there let's go draw it on like the one minute and see how accurate it, it really is okay so this seems pretty accurate we're starting at at a uh, pre-market open and then uh maybe we drew a little bit closer like that yeah because that means it will bounce off of a uh, off of a pretty good amount of pretty good amount of candles so let's see how this works out if we hold this then we could see your 35 maybe at like uh midday but that means volume would be super low midday obviously so either we break out and completely spike out there which looks like we're probably gonna do that 
31 37 robin hunters are awake and they're pushing they're gonna push this thing let's check out the five minute dude this just looks like a straight line <laughs> 30.60 average did you just buy on cash app or did you buy on uh, oh yeah did you did you uh buy in pre-market 30.60 how much are you up right now from 30 from 30.60 let's check that out okay you're not doing too bad you're up like two percent i mean dude if i were you i'd be very scared <laughs> holding but yeah volume is definitely shown that this thing could run you bought around 825 okay well, I'm assuming you're not a Robin Hunter then, because then you wouldn't have been able to buy. <laughs> EST? Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm EST as well. By the way, can you guys hear the music? Or is it just like like a little like static? Like, does it sound like static? Because I don't know. I like listening to music. Uh, so I'm just kind of playing it. I don't know if you can hear it though, obviously. I have it set that you can, but it might not be loud enough simply. What's Jim Cramer talking about? Jim Cramer's talking about futures up. I prefer new music, but it's low. Here, I'll turn it off then. It's all good. Yeah, I imagine. I don't know. I should probably. I've always done it with music, so I'll turn it. I'll turn it off and let's see how it goes. Let's see what. Uh, okay, they're talking about crude oil. They don't really care about crude oil right now. Care about more of the AMC and GameStops going on. Yeah, I noticed that like no streamers really use music. I don't know. I, I, I could probably get it so I can play the music in my ears alone, right? And then, like, nobody else can hear it um, if that's better. But I don't know if that'll be better or not. Damn, up AMC 31.45. It's pushing. It's holding that line, and it's going. All right, let's go over to CNBC. Let's see what they're talking about this morning. Uh, in, in March of 2020 a lot before those numbers started getting much better. In other words, market kind of tries to Etsy lead Dollar that. Tree, so I think the market in general is in good shape. It's rested for about six weeks. Uh, but June, not that great seasonally. Usually, uh, and FOMO everybody's is high. FOMO the is fact high. 31.41 right now, by have, the way. You know, for a 90% 13-month rally or, or not? So mm -hmm. uh, the historical yeah. stuff yeah. would say maybe, but not yet. So that's interesting, Mike. I mean, it does sort of Apple feed that you were talking about this with Becky a moment crazy. ago. Apple's down the notion 5%. of whether or not the wow. market conversation Same thing with Disney. gets a little Who tougher expected that? as we get into the summer, whether that's because infrastructure becomes Peloton a bit more of a partisan a discussion or the jobs NPS, number is strong enough NXP this week to get Powell never heard talking about talking about tapering or whether I've all the inflation never heard that we've been before. seeing starts to feed into corporate margins and of course, earnings season for Q2, unbelievably, is only about five or six weeks away. Yeah, exactly. Q2 is I, five I, I weeks, weeks think away? There's Holy something crap. About, you know, what can we expect in terms of the trajectory of earnings from here? All right, you know, just talking about earnings. I want to I wanna see. Uh, I want to wait till the other interesting things come up. But, yeah, man, we're pushing. We are pushing. We're, we're kind of we're kind of following this line. Let's see if we fall back down and, uh, and, and hit, like, the 31-ish range. 31 like uh maybe 31 18 ish range maybe i could see us kind of kind of falling like right here bouncing and then and then we'll see in like the next 25 minutes really where we open we, we still we'll probably end up opening if this line follows true we'll probably end up opening around 31 like 60 ish um if this holds true which i mean it should i don't see why it wouldn't hold true right but we are falling back down Let's see what GameStop is at. GameStop had a really nice uh, candle. Really nice candle going all the way up and a lot of volume on that. But unfortunately, the pre-market on GameStop is just super duper weak. It's basically up to where it was on mid to end of the day. Not really end of the day, but like midday on Friday. Spy once again falling back down after that really big run in the pre-market that was a that's a, such a weird candle do you use ortex uh no i don't use ortex i kind of just go on twitter and then see what people are saying on ortex because i don't really want to pay 50 dollars a month or what is it, 75 dollars a month for ortex so no i don't have it unfortunately it's also not worth it because i don't feel like this will really push that long and you really, if I were to get Ortex, I'd really only use it for AMC. 
So there's no point in buying like a like a full on you know software package for that. How'd you get it for free? Wait, what? You can get it for free or tax free. How do you get it for free? Or tax is forty nine dollars a month. Yeah, no, no shot in paying that for to view short interest on one stock, which might not even be, which might not even be updated. But yeah, let's check out Ortex over here. See what they they've said. Okay, high short squeeze, blah blah. You're talking about space. Ortex had a short squeeze signal in space, Virgin Galactic. I actually have not checked out space. SPCE is space short squeezing, kinda. Not really though. It was only up half a percent on Friday. What else has Ortex been tweeting about? An SNDL, 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 short squeeze on SNDL. Oh, Sundial. Oh yeah, this looks like it. This looks like it's squeezing. I mean, it's a pretty big in the pre market. What are we at? We went from about ninety five cents to a dollar and five cents, and at the highs, it was at a dollar and uh, fourteen cents. No, a dollar and twelve cents. No, at the highs, yeah, it was a dollar and fourteen cents. Yeah, I was right. Okay, that's like that's like pretty good. I use a proxy and a VPN and switch countries for free page views. Oh, I could do that, but the thing is, if I was to use my VPN right now, which is literally, you know, look at this, hotspot shield, I think it would actually turn off my stream, because it would, like, buffer my stream or something. Oh, uh, CNBC's talking about AMC. Let's go switch over to that real quick, um, and let's see what, let's see what they're saying. Oh, Kramer's not even there today. Why do I think Kramer is there? Valuation, you can at least imagine them making a significant change in their business model, it seems somewhat harder to imagine that holy. with AMC. Exactly. And therefore, I mean, they are going to just go about showing movies, with which, by the way, continues to be a challenge business in some ways, given, I mean, again, something, Carl, and we've all discussed a lot is the closing window, the fact that your availability of a, of a key title at home is almost as immediate as these right. days is going to see it in the movie theater, which is yet another I mean, challenge look at for that industry. Run, though, and that's guys. what they deal in. Look at this that's what yearly. they're in. Their major shareholders are all out. Silver, uh, the, you know, Silver Lake is out. Uh, Stanley and Wong is out. And at prices I mean, uh, that are less market. than half yeah. of where we are oh, right yeah. now. Yeah, and um, without a doubt. So there's not really a transformation story attached to this, even in the hypothetical. Too they're much getting a lot let's, of money, let's though, talk obviously. let a little more detail about, uh, about AMC. Here. We're joined by Chad Bynan of Macquarie. Um, you know, uh, Chad, how do you put in uh, today's equity raise in the context? I mean, you have a company yeah, this. that's this is actually pretty, this is actually pretty important. shares outstanding I hear about a year the or so raise. ago to $500 million. They've added more debt. So there's a lot of capital behind this business, which is still a uh, challenge. So uh, how do you evaluate it? Sure. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, it, it's obviously a, more, a difficult one here. Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC, he's stared death in the face several times at different companies, and I think he's really just embracing what's going on in the retail was. market. Um, from our perspective, from a valuation standpoint, we look at these as you know somewhere between 10 and 15 times free cash flow businesses. So from okay. a um, fundamental standpoint, we look at what AMC did in 2019. We do think they can get back to those EBITDA or free cash flow levels. Yeah, I think um, so The too. equity raise that they've done uh, in the past couple of weeks, that'll help them potentially bring that bring down the deferred rent and reduced interest expense but we think they can get back to somewhere between 50 cents and a dollar of free cash flow so wow. then we value the stock off of that so you were saying about 10 or 15 times free cash flow so 10 to 15 dollars a share is that what it comes to you know we're constantly reevaluating this weekend was obviously a big um, you know, due diligence weekend to just mm -hmm. make sure that demand is still there. But that's generally how we think about movie theater stocks, how we have in the past. I've covered, covered this company in the sector for, for over 10 years. And that's yeah, historically demand, how demand, the sector I think demand is, is there. I mean, um, and if you look at the comps, I want to go see some Cine movies. World, I'm just waiting for uh, Cinemark, to come out. Um, IMAX or uh, Red Yeah, so I actually went to see uh, Kong versus, or Godzilla versus Kong and I went to an AMC theater and it was pretty packed. Like, like the concession stand had a ton of people. Uh, I mean, there was really like a lot of people just kind of everywhere uh, in the AMC. But obviously, I'm waiting to see you know what other new movies come out before before I go again. 
but they're, the, the, the demand is pretty strong. And I mean, like I said, they're getting this $500 million. And, uh, and what Chad just said on CNBC is that they can reduce a lot of their, their interest payments because they'll be able to pay off most of their debt. Uh, they'll be able to probably prepay a lot of the rent and obviously not have to worry about uh, rent for quite a while. And then as coronavirus like keeps going away, they'll have a lot more income and they're they're basically comparing it to 2019 cash flows of and i think if we go back and look at uh amc in 2019 this thing was uh let's go to daily i mean in 2019 obviously you know it was a, it was a pretty dying business like stock wise but it obviously wasn't as hyped as it was before and they were paying out a dividend so so they were, they were giving out that twenty cent dividend, and now that they are not given that dividend, and they're just kind of paying uh paying off their debts. I mean, we should be happy here. We should be happy for them that uh, they're they're running this high. Yeah, there's like there's like not really that much to say on it. Uh, what is this? Nice you to dwell. Oh God, what is this? Is this the Schlatt? Okay, <laughs> dude. So boys, I asked I asked the uh, Schlatt for a limited edition plushie, and Schlatt asked me for my address and I sent it to him and I'm now waiting for my plushie. <laughs> Do you have a position on AMC? Yeah, absolutely. Right now I have uh right now I am currently up on AMC. I'm currently up. Let's check. Let's check. Uh I'm currently up 177% on my AMC shares with an average of $11.38 and then off of my shares I am selling uh calls against my shares. Um, I'm selling a couple calls at $37 for June 11th, meaning that I need AMC to be under what the, I need AMC to basically, why is this not scaling? Pro okay. I didn't have it on. I need AMC to be under uh, $37 by June 11th, which is over here. And then I'll make an extra $2,800 ish in premium. So yeah, my, my, I mean, my, my position on AMC is pretty decent. But I, I am kind of holding for some extra premium, obviously. But yeah, man, this is holding the line. Holding, <laughs> hold the line, hold the line. This is holding the line pretty strong. It's like bouncing, kind of, kind of bouncing here. Let's, let's tr take this line and let's try and, let's try and make this line a little bit more accurate. So we're probably not going to start over there. And honestly, Let's see if we can get any new lines. Let's try and move away from the pre-market ones. And if we go here, this is a way more parabolic line, obviously. This is, like, way more straight line. I'm about six months into the market, so I'm still learning. Oh, well, that's good that at least you're getting in early. Are, are you young? Like, are you in your teens or something? Because uh, cause I'm actually, like, 21. So I've been in the market for, like, a couple years now. I got into it in, uh, I think it was, like, freshman year of high school. So it's been, like, what, six? six or seven years no wait whoa it's been like seven years holy crap that's a long time yeah, i've been in the market for like seven years now start off with crypto early 90s oh okay all right then you're fine yeah no i've been in it for like a while like a seven years um but hey man better better late than never right there's a lot of people i know that are like you know early 60s <laughs> early 60s and early 70s and uh they're not in the market yet, so you're doing a lot. You're doing fine. Just, I guess if I were you, you'd probably look more into things like these, dude. If I were you, I'd be looking more into uh, more than like index funds. Index funds are probably the way to go. You got your VUs over there. You've got your spies, your QQQs. I mean, these things you can hold them literally for the rest of your life, and you'll probably never have to worry a day, dude. Because like all this thing does is go up. Well, this was like. 2000 crash this was literally 9 11 ish area and like the bubble but yeah i mean this thing just goes up and up and up like this is really this is how they say the stock market averages like seven percent a year i mean that's what they're talking about vu i've got i keep some of that as well how's gme been doing i feel like gme has just been catching uh catching some air doing absolutely nothing and yeah it's doing nothing do nothing it's just chilling man oh wait a second did we just break break the line 
We're not holding the line. Well, I guess this is the new line I drew. Let's go back to the old line, honestly. The old line was better. The old line, it was holding. The old line, it was holding. And if we technically go back to the old line, now it's holding. Now we're good. And we're about, well, like, what? We're about 12 minutes till the open. AMC is still being talked about on CNBC. AMC shares on... AMC shares surge on new share sale. Wow, that is hard. AMC surges on new share sales. That is like a she shells, she shells, but is she sure? I can't even say that probably. <laughs> I can't even say that one probably. Feels bad, man. All right. Spy. Spy's going back up. I'm happy. I like spy. We had this fall back down to 421, and now we're just straight up pushing 422. This is going to open up like what? Half a percent, maybe? No, probably like what? Three quarters of a percent? That's good. Palantir, still pushing in the pre market. Love my Palantir. Palantir's really, really great stock. I mean, it was obviously super duper overhyped earlier, but it's, uh, it's a good one. That's for sure. It's a great stock. AMC still holding the line. Hold the line. Where did that come from? Hold the line. Hold the line. What is that? Where did that come from? Oh, that's a song? Oh, it's Toto hold the line. What does it mean to hold the line? Maintaining the existing position or state of affairs. We'll have to hold the line on spending until our profits rise. The term alludes to former military tactics in which a line of troops was to prevent an enemy breakthrough. Okay, so we're supposed to hold the we're supposed to hold the line so there's not an enemy breakthrough of bears that shoot us all the way down apparently. All right, well that's what hold the line means. So you figure that out. <laughs> well, we're holding it. We just got to make sure we're uh holding what? 3137ish. Let's just say 3140. Let's hold 3140. That's probably the safer option. Mm. Tesla kind of falling back down. It's okay though. Got AMD also, also basically falling down a bit. Again, that's okay. Nvidia looking like a uh, AMD kinda. They're both up on the pre market. We got uh, LRCX also up there. Lam Research. This is another big chip maker. Skyrook Solutions has not been getting the same love as the rest of the chip makers. That's been falling. Same with a lot of Fang. Twitter's been pretty silent as well. A lot of Fang hasn't been moving. But that basically means that like when Fang starts moving, uh we are gonna pump like crazy. We'll see we'll see QQQ probably hit like 370 or something. Do you have any crypto? Have uh Ethereum Classic and Doge. Um I've got a couple Doge, not really enough that I like care about. Um, and then we have uh, some Bitcoin, we have some Ethereum, uh, we have some Cardano, and we have some like some some really terrible coins. Uh, that 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 like I'm just hoping one day we'll eventually have a super massive pump and uh, you know, make my account go crazy. Yeah, I have a good amount, but. Most of the portfolio is obviously in stocks and ETFs because that's just the safer thing to do, right? Uh, but, I mean, coins have just been absolutely getting destroyed. Let's do coin market cap real quick. Yeah, look at this, boys. Ethereum down, Bitcoin down, 35,000, 2,500. This was at, what, almost 4.5K. Uh, we've got Cardano, number four coin now. Where'd Doge go? All the way down. Cardano is at 168. This was like a two dollar coin. Litecoin was literally at four hundred dollars or like three fifty or something. That has just gone shredded. Solana as well. V Chain. V Chain was almost top ten at one point, I believe. It's it's up, but uh, you know, it could be could be better. Like look at this. Uh, Bitcoin USDT. Bitcoin Tether is just it can't hold, man. It's it tries to bounce, but, like, it's not even enough for it to be considered a dead cat bounce, in my opinion. Like, it just it just bounces a little bit, and then it just dies right back down. Okay, can I not auto this? All right, yeah. See, it, like, bounces, and then it, it just completely dies back down, which is a shame. 
because I think we actually see like more downside on on Bitcoin. So maybe maybe when we get to like the uh, the the under thirty thousand dollar mark, I'll probably buy some more. But yeah, man, it is it is unfortunate to see people who bought at like sixty five thousand down about fifty percent right now. And honestly, Bitcoin's like not even that great of a coin. I mean, there's just so many coins that are better than it. I recently learned about Nano, which is uh, apparently one of the best coins right now with technology-wise. And, well, look at this. Look at this. We just bounced on that line. Holy crap. The line worked. We bounced on the line, and now we're back all the way up to 3218 with eight minutes to go. So look at that. Literally, textbook bounce. Boom. If they can afford to buy that high, they can afford to average down. No, that's not true, dude. It's not. Thing is, right? The people that are buying at BTC, you know, 60, 70,000. I mean, these are like, these are like your average workers, bro. They're like your taxi driver, like the guy who makes your sandwiches at the deli. That like someone came in, was talking about Bitcoin, and they like finally heard about it. And they're like, wow, this thing is up, you know, a thousand percent in like a year. And, uh, and let me, let me try, you know, buying again, let me try and buy and maybe this thing will go up to 500,000. They'll be rich and they can retire. So they end up buying up here and, you know, as it falls and falls and falls, they end up like selling down here to the retailers. No, seriously. Yeah. That's how it is. I think that's how it is. I don't think people buying up here have actual money to average down. I think the people up here are the ones that got, that get caught up in all of the hype of it going up like crazy. And then it, and then it falls. Same thing with like GameStop, dude. When GameStop bought fell up here, you think it was the hedge funds buying up here and the people that could afford to and smart money? No shot, dude. Smart money was not buying GameStop at five hundred dollars. It was like your taxi driver, your Uber driver, the the guy who makes your sandwiches at the deli. That was the people buying up here that got caught up in the hype. And then when it fell, you know they lost all their money. They they closed their robin hood account and they said investing is not for me and uh and that was that <laughs> i've seen it happen it happens all of the time that's why that's why they say the stock market is rigged but amc i mean this thing is straight going amc's going 30 to 40 will we see will we see 35 how close are we to 35 we are so close we are like eight percent away What's your price target for AMC today? Uh, I don't have a price target, especially on something as volatile as this. But I do think we can try and retest these uh, these highs of Friday, which was 36. Like, what was the high over here? 36.72. I think that was the high. Yeah, 36.72. We'll probably see that in the first couple candle openings. 37. Yeah, 36.72 to 37. Like where my white line is, that's where I'll uh, I'll. I'll be down if uh, if this thing keeps running, because I am selling I am selling calls against my shares. Thirty two fifty though. Sheesh. How much of a gain is this pre market? This has got to be like twenty five percent gain pre market. Let's check like, let's check the close. So the close candle was right over here. Close was at twenty five ninety five. I think, I believe. Twenty five ninety five was the close. Oh no, twenty six twelve was the close. Okay, let's go up here, 26, 12, and let's check how much are we up on the day. Dude, we're up 24.57%. That is nuts. 24.5. And if we were to be going all the way up to uh, up to Friday's highs, that'd be another 41% run. You know how insane that is to see? Like, this is literally Day Trader's Paradise. I don't know if you guys have ever uh, heard that phrase. Day Trader's Paradise, right? Where something is so volatile that it just up 40%, down 40%, up 40%, down 40%. Like, if you catch that, I mean, you're big bullin. You're making a crap load of money. But let's see if this re respects the line. I mean, it's easy money if you catch it, right? Easy money if you catch it. But, like, for example, if you buy here, and let's say you sold, well... I mean, you'd be you'd be up, but like barely. But then you would probably gotten stomped out over there, which is real. Which is literally what's happening with me. I'm about to get stomped out. Uh, if this thing goes above, like, if this thing goes any higher, I'm probably gonna get stomped out of all of my profits from my AMC calls, which are up 34% right now. Those will probably get stomped out. 
Dow Jones futures are up 272. How much you want to bet most of that is from Boeing? It is. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even need to say it, dude. I didn't even need to, like, look at it. Boeing completely. Boeing is up what? Two, uh, 2.18%. I, I literally did not need to check that. I know once a Dow is up, like, insane and Apple and tech is, like, not green, it's got to be Boeing because price-weighted index. I mean, Boeing literally just carries that thing. Is GameStop doing anything? No, GameStop just... Dude, GameStop sucks. <laughs> it's not doing anything. It's not even, like, going to, to, like, the highs. At least it's not at the lows. You know? At least it's not red. At least it's not red. That's really all we can ask for. I mean, I have uh, I have nothing in GameStop, by the way. I have no position in it. So, uh, does it go up? Does it go down? It doesn't really matter too much to me. Anything cool being talked about, though? Doesn't look like it. No, 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 no cool plays being called out today. Let's check out my, uh, let's check out my Forex position. <laughs> Oof. Looks like GBP USD recovered a bit. Let's check that out. GBP USD. That, uh, that, that's not good. <laughs> I have a short position literally at this line and it, 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 it fell. I was up and now I'm not. <laughs> now I'm not. Now, now I'm down on my GBP USD. What are you playing? You're playing OCGN next. Major EUA catalyst. What is EUA? Is that United? What is EUA? EUA. Oh, emergency use authorization. Dude, vaccine, like, we have so many. I don't think, I don't even think that'll push him anymore. It's not like a race to see who's going to have the vaccine up the fastest. Like, I don't know. I think if, if I think that's a biomed stock, right? Yeah. I don't know. If they have a vaccine, like, who cares? <laughs> everybody, everybody has a vaccine now. So I, I don't see how that, I don't see how, like, insane that is right now. Unfortunate, though, that my, my Forex position fell, but we'll take, we'll take, take what we can get. 929, market about to open. Let's see, let's see what happens right off the rip, okay? Okay, we're falling back down, kinda. Market open in one minute. You'll see. I guess we'll see. I hope you're right, obviously. I don't have a position in it, so it doesn't really matter to me, but hey, man, if it runs for you, congrats. Let's see how AMC opens up this morning. Okay, I'll make sure I keep my TD Ameritrade open because uh, sometimes it likes to close at the market open whenever there's a lot of traction. How much time do we have left on this candle? We've got like 10 seconds left, really. 10 seconds until market open, boys. Let's see where AMC goes. Fake sell off coming. Yeah, we'll probably sell off right under the line. We'll probably bounce to like 30 bucks. And then it'll probably shoot right back up if that happens. But market open. Let's see where we go. We're just chilling, huh? All right. There, there's that fake dump that we're talking about. There's that dump. What are we gonna dump to though? That's the main question. Are we gonna dump to uh 3140? Let's see what happens over here. Or do we even not go that far? It looks like we're not even going that far. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> A lot of volume. Okay, we are still up 20% on the day, 19% on the day, which is not bad. A lot of volume on this candle, 78,000, 80,000. It seems to be, uh, seems to be not holding. We're at the $31 mark and then boom, bounce at 31. Let's see if this will hold. It'll probably hold right here. Yeah, dude. So my my sold calls, right? Those went from plus forty percent to down ten percent, which kind of sucks. But obviously, if this ends up just being a sell off, then then we'll be all right. But it looks like it wants all this thirty thirty one ish range, thirty dollar thirty ish one thirty one ish dollar range. Now, if this falls under thirty, I'd be a little bit concerned. But it's holding so far. You know, you can't be you can't be mad when you're up 17%, right? And uh, all right, so now we're basically almost break even on my calls. We're we're down 40 bucks. 
We're down 1.5%, 2%. And are we going to break 30? No, we're not yet. Volume is quite low, quite low. Uh, so can this candle uh, for the first minute was 110,000 compared to Friday where candle one was uh, 174,000. So about half of the volume, a little more than half the volume that we had. But yeah, now 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 we had that balance at around thirty fifty. Is this a dead cat or or was that the early morning profit takers taking their seventeen percent and then going and then going for more? Let's see. What's Jimmy doing? Jimmy, damn, Jimmy is just not holding. Jimmy is just not doing anything. It's down. It's fallen. MC 19% up, holding some support, 31.20, okay, volume is absolutely depleting though, and there we go, we're, we're, we're not looking too strong, but same thing happened before, we, we kind of fell and then we bounced back up, so we'll have to see what happens. And we're falling. Zero shares available to borrow. Really? Really? You can't borrow any shares? That's wild. We'll definitely be able to borrow some soon, dude, with the way this thing is dropping. Are we gonna are we gonna fall under 30 bucks? That's what I wanna see. Are we gonna fall under 30? We're at 30, 29. Okay, yeah. We just sold past 30. Now will it hold under 30? 29.93. And yeah, it, it looks like 30 is probably going to become a resistance over here. Depending on how, how much it's bounced. Yeah, we, we are completely selling off. This is a lot of selling volume right now. 29.80. I am back green on my uh, sold calls. AMC is still up 14% though today. And we basically bounced at that support. Bounced at, uh, bounced at 29.60-ish. Back over 30. Back red on my calls. <laughs> Definitely not retail investors selling. Uh, you'd be surprised. I feel like there's a lot of retailers selling. Because, cause again, you know, if you bought on Friday and now you're up 15%, dude, that's like twice the S&P 500 return in a day. Overnight. Not even in a day. In, like, a couple hours of market open time. You can't go wrong with that. Like, But we're holding 30, which is great. That should mean that we'll uh, we'll get that other other bounce going. We'll have to see how how long this thing holds if it'll push. Jimmy, on the other hand, Jimmy is just straight up going going right back down. Could not care. Now let's see if we hold this range, thirty thirty, or will we kind of trade in this range and then fall? It looks like we're gonna push up. Yeah. I mean, you basically call it animal. We we had that we had that sell off, and now it looks like we're pushing right back up. And I am down on my calls again, but it's okay, because they're pretty nicely on our shares. Let's check out what uh what the other things are doing. We've got spy going back down after a pretty nice run. Spy's not looking too bad either. Let's see what SPY is at. SPY is still green on the day, up half a percent. Q is up about a quarter. Eh, what is that? 0.4 percent. AMC right back down, trying to hold 30. It is kind of holding 30, but it looks pretty weak over here. Uh, the volume is just atrocious. I don't know if this will actually be a green day, considering volume is really low. Memorial Day volume just was not it. I mean, this candle is almost, uh, well, this candle just started really, but I mean, it's only at 82,000 and it's not going up super fast either. We're actually falling under 30 again. Over 30 again. <laughs> it, it doesn't know what it wants to do. I think it wants the whole 30, but like, it's, it's a little bit confused. It doesn't know exactly when it should hold 30 it just wants to hold it cloudera on cnbc just hit 1597 holy up 24 percent today 
Thirty sixteen. Wow. Mm. Thirty dollars is holding. What else do we have on the moon? We've got Tesla. Tesla gaining this morning. That's good to see. It's green. Six thirty one. Wow. Are we gonna Are we gonna follow through with this? gigantic uptrend so we're, we've got to pass this uh this high from friday which i think was like 635 and we got to keep pushing and then once you really get past this green triangle if we push here we'll we'll shoot to the moon what is the red line on your chart uh support and resistance lines so they're auto generated support and resistance lines oh uh these red lines or this purple line if you're talking about this purple line, that is a 200-day moving average. But if you're talking about like these red lines, it's it's a uh, these are resistance lines, and the green ones are support lines. <laughs> Damn, this AMC is just confused today. After that major run up, I mean, we're getting some like dojis that are just they they don't know. I mean, look at that. We're starting to move back down the red. Fell through 29 again. It's not holding very strong. <laughs> it's not holding very, very strong. And then we are back green. Uh, we're back up 7% on our AMC call. So I'll take it. I'll take I'll take the little gains that we're getting. Unfortunate, though, that it has to come out of the stock gains. Pounds here. Dude, man, see the thing about Palantir is Palantir always looks so nice in the pre-market. You know, it's like, yeah, man, we're up half a percent, we're up a percent, and then it just completely dies throughout the rest of the day. Tesla up a percent, looking great. JME just dying, and then AMC, AMC, like I said, very, very confused, man. It doesn't know if it wants to hold thirty or not. <laughs> it literally has no clue. Well, he has no clue. <laughs> oh well, now now it has a clue. Now it's falling all the way back. Now it's falling all the way back down, kinda. Okay, so what started off as like a really strong A for me is like not extremely strong anymore. Whoa, AMD had a two point six six. Wow, look at this, AMD two point seven five. Is this gonna keep pushing? Okay, I didn't even notice, but I'm a pretty nice on AM, AMD. Look at that. Look at that strong push. 2.85? It's going 3% day on AMD, right? Yeah, I mean, it's so cool watching the line just kind of extend and continue going up. 82.45. 3% day on AM, AMD. AMC, AMD. Two completely different and valuable stocks. But... I like AMD more in my opinion. And it is just going three over three percent. Three point one. Let's see if it let's see if it goes to three and a half percent today. Oh my god. Three point two five. Wow, what a nice run for AMD, dude. Anything special happening on this thing or no? Nah? I mean Nvidia's down. Nvidia's down while AMD is just completely on a tear. Let's look at like the one hour far. Are we witnessing a breakout of any sort? Not really. Not really. Kind of kind of weirdish cup and handle, but I wouldn't even like place any money on that. 3.5% gain basically. 3.34. That's a that is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome to see that gain for me. I'm happy. And then AMC, rest in peace, boys. Rest in peace. This thing is just This thing is falling back down. And look at this. The S&P 500 hasn't fallen since 2015. I feel like that's not true. I feel like that's not true, but CNBC is reporting it, and they'll know better than me about that stuff. So, let's uh, let's trust them. Let's trust and see what they say. All right. Uh, AMC, what are you doing, buddy? Twenty eight ninety nine. Uh oh, it's not looking too super, super duper strong. Hmm. Jimmy, still down. It was up, what, 7%? Now it's just fallen. It looks like the meme stocks are kind of weak today. Volume isn't there to sustain them. 
unfortunate. Volume just isn't there today. Uh, Brock, wait, did Brock re restrict, retract a message? Short interest change plus 1.44, yeah. I mean, you can't really get, I mean, I guess there's just not as much shares to really borrow, right? Like you said earlier, there's just not that many shares to borrow. Uh, volume? Yeah, man, volume is just weak. Look at this. This candle, the second candle, was around half the volume before. This was a 277,000 candle, and this was a 581,000. So literally half the volume of Friday, where we had that big push up to $36, almost $37. So this might actually end up being a pretty boring day for AMC. I mean, you know, boring considering we're up 12%, almost 13%. And, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go up to 30? We'll probably hold 30, honestly. Utilization is 99.33%. Yeah, so you literally can't borrow more shares. That's basically what I'm what I'm understanding. You can't borrow more shares, and the ones who are selling it, the, the interest rate that they're selling it is just for literally too high, probably. 29.86. Okay, so we're probably going to bounce here. We're probably going to hang around this range. But do I see us making, you know, brand new super duper highs? Uh, it's it's probably not going to happen. Like, we're probably not going to hit brand new highs on this thing. Let's see what people are talking about, though. People are talking about AMD still going. Where did it go? AMD, where you at? AMD, 3%. So it had that little, uh, had that big gain and then it kind of fell a bit and this is looking like a flag to me personally i think we actually continue pushing here maybe i mean either way three percent gain on that is is pretty solid we've got palantir up a percent now down from pre-market but palantir is just one of those stocks where it, it moves very erratically intraday but i mean this thing just continues to chug every single day so far We've got SPY at all-time highs? No, it's not. We we came close to hitting an all-time high on SPY. Came very, very close. We're like, we were like zero point, we're like, what, half a point away from hitting all-time highs, highs on SPY. It's very close, but it, SPY seems to be dumping a bit now. MC back over 30. Back over 30 we go. 30.02. And how are my calls doing? My calls are now up 11%, so... Could be better. Could be better, but eh, we'll take what we can get, right? Um, Anything else really happening over here? We've had Tesla. Tesla had this pretty nice run in the morning, about a percent. But, I mean, 1% for Tesla is really not that impressive. Tesla 1% is not that impressive, considering, you know, what we usually see from Tesla, like a 3, 4, 5% gainer day, but, but look at this, man, it is holding this triangle very, very nicely, we had uh, lower highs, and then we had this flat range, and I think, you know, as long as we don't end up falling down here, I think this will easily bounce up to, to 670-ish within within the month and then we'll probably if we break out through there we'll probably push like 700 so i'm not surprised at all that that tesla is you know moving a little bit slow because it's getting ready for a pretty big breakout and then like i keep saying man amd has i mean amc has just no clue what to do with itself it's just holding like it's trying to hold this 30 dollar mark on really low volume I wonder if volume here is, is higher than where it was on uh, on Thursday. It doesn't look like it was on the 30-minute chart. And we still have 15 minutes to go on the 30-minute chart. So, I don't know. Let's check out the 5-minute. Uh, volume is atrocious. I mean, this thing is just its not great. Actually, volume is kind of, kind of cashing up. We had uh, three candles in. We were at, what, 323? Three candles in, we were at uh, 580, so a little bit less than half, a little bit less than half, and we're back under 30. Yeah, I think today might just be like a little down day for for AMD. I mean AMC. Hey, dude, I I keep thinking about AMD because I, I'm like happy that I'm up on AMD today, but I'm also up on AMC, but I'm not as up as I was beforehand.
Oh man, too many th too many things to think about. Verb got verified on Twitter. Did he actually? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Verb. Did he really get verified? Oh, that's awesome. Let's go. He got verified. What the? Holy crap. He got verified. Let's go. W. W for verb. Finally. Holy. Dude's been worrying for like a month. <laughs> 30? Oh, it's like hole in this 30. It just doesn't know what to do. That's a major W. Let's go. Man, Ash got verified. Now, now I wonder if a uh, MCU account can get verified, but it says uh, it says we need like more more articles or something. Krishna saying next, dude. I gotta start getting the double digit concurrent viewers first. I think before we can uh, before we can get verified. <laughs> We're a bit low on the view view count, but you know this is uh, the fourth stream on the channel, so it'll take some time, right? We gotta we gotta wait till Matt Core stops averaging fifty thousand viewers. Check Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin. Eh. Bitcoin from market open, I guess, was up. I mean, it's up negligible amount, dude. What two percent? Um, a two percent run on Bitcoin is like a spread. I think if you go on Coinbase and you 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 take a two percent loss on on uh on Bitcoin whenever you buy, and you're like, oh well, that's just a spread. So, well, what what's the more important one is ETH USDT, Ethereum. Uh, kind of had that push. Coinbase went up too low. Let's check out Coin. Coin. Coin up three percent. Coin, I think, is very, very, very determinant, depending on how Bitcoin will continue doing for the next year. Because if liquidity dries up and people are just making less trades, Coin will plummet. Um, because their revenues are like so dependent on transactions, right? So if there's just less transactions, Coinbase will make less money. But on the next like massive Bitcoin run, then obviously uh, Coin will probably shoot for new highs. But yeah, I mean, dude, literally if you bought Coinbase any time before like two weeks ago, you, you're, you're down pretty bad. Imagine you bought the top of Coin, right? You bought at like 420. You are down 40. You're down like 43%. That's like worse than buying the top of Bitcoin. Palantir is looking like it's about to go red, bro. What? Palantir literally wants to go red. AMD's not, though. AMD wants to keep chugging along. It wants to push. AMD said, I don't care. AMD said, no, I'm not dropping down. That wasn't a dead cat bounce. That's that's a bounce bounce. <laughs> now, is Spy going to hit all-time high say? It is not. It is not. It doesn't look like it. It looks very, looks very slow. AMC holding the line. It's holding the line. Thirty dollars. It definitely broke this uh this line here. So let's go ahead and delete that. It's not following that anymore. It is holding the line at thirty dollars, but an ever depleting volume. It has no clue what to do. It looks like some of that money's going to GameStop though. Twenty two thirty one sixty four. It looks like some of the money's going in there, and some of the volumes coming back. More volume than the last candle, pushing back up to 31. Well, how's VU doing? VU looked like it was going for all time high. Let's see. Yeah, VU was going for an all time high, but unfortunately got rejected. OEG. OEG. Whoa, what is this? Is this the one you're talking about? No, this is an energy stock, bro. Bro, who cares about energy stocks? What the? Let's check. Let's check out what's happening with it. The OEG, Orbital Energy Services, recently acquired Subsidy Gibson Technical. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no clue about this stock. I like. I've never heard of it today. It seems like a penny stock. I have no clue, dude. Like, what does this even mean? Seven hundred mile engineering conjunction fraud dude what i have no clue about this stock bro i can't help you there if you're asking hey man what do you think about that no clue bro sorry 3120 okay that's going it's it, it's held the line it held the line now let's see how long it's gonna hold the line for you know let's see how long it holds it i was just throwing it out there all right yeah Oh man, we are still up on our AMC calls, but 
by a very negligible negligible amount now. We're only up like six percent on them. Um, so if AMC continues to pump up, this could actually go into uh into negative territory, which is something we probably do not want to happen. Probably do not want to see that happen. Palantir, really crushing me. Only up a quarter of a percent now. However, AMD also starting to crush me. It was up three and a half percent now. It's up two and a half percent really, and uh, it's forming the little McDonald's chart line, which probably means we might uh we might bounce around here. Very very unfortunate for us to see. Truly unfortunate. We've got Bitcoin, same thing, really falling back down. We've got Etsy. Wow, Etsy's actually red today. We even got TQQQ, one of my favorite uh triple leverage ETFs. Almost going red. Wow, market's really turning around. Like, wait, is Boeing kind of falling too? That's actually one that I, I really want to see. No, Boeing, Boeing doesn't care, dude. Boeing said I'm gonna fly high with my planes, and it's up 2.8 percent. This is literally carrying the Dow today, by the way. That that is literally carrying the Dow. And 31 bucks back on the AMC. It doesn't really know what it wants to do. And I'm actually back green on my forex trade. Uh, I don't know how long that'll last, but, but, hey amen. Green is green, right? Green is green. You want that good green? That's green. FAS, GME, GME's going back red, kind of like I guess red compared to uh compared to its pre market where like, a bunch of Robin Hooders probably bought. And man, this did not. This just. I keep saying it, but it's so true. AMC does not know what it wants. Do you have anything cool on Yahoo Finance to read? Uh, Yahoo Finance. I should probably have that like one of the bookmarks here. I want to see if there's anything cool to read. And Spy rejected. Yeah, Spy rejected. Nice. Nice. Spy rejected. Okay, AMC over the year. And uh, let's take a look at if there's any cool things going on. Abbott stock, Chumbles don't really care. These two stocks are all triple digit gain. No way, that's awesome. Bitcoin crash isn't over yet. Okay, so maybe that means we actually might be bottoming out. If JP Morgan says uh, Bitcoin crash isn't over, then we've probably bottomed. Retroactive capital gains type gives them more reg wiggle room. How to protect your retirement from lawsuits. Nobody really cares. AMD surges as deals with Mudrick raises cash go on offense. Okay, so like, there's nothing really that cool going on on uh, Yahoo Finance this morning. Yeah, nothing cool going on. Thirty-one bucks. Oh yeah, if I'm like watching this thing, you guys can only look at the top and just like read the number that it says. And if it like goes crazy, you could just like tell me. Boeing stock rallies pace. Let's see what they have to say about Boeing. After Cohen turns bullish. After Cohen analyst turned bullish on the aerospace. Okay, so it's really. Is it only up on analyst expectations? Boeing said fast improving air traffic is bolstering demand for Boeing aircraft. Well, obviously. Boeing max planes in China will hit the limit upside and believes the outlook for next three years is brighter. He said Boeing could miss expectations, give China approval delay. Okay, yeah, so it's literally only up on analysts. Neo's deliveries dropped in May. The stock is up anyway, of course. I mean, it's an electric vehicle stock. That's just kind of how they work, you know? Um, Yeah, nothing nothing interesting going on. Current resistance on AMC. Resistance right now, it really looks like it's uh like 31, kind of 76. I mean, we still have this, obviously, day resistance of uh, 32, like 32.66-ish. And then, I mean... We have, you know, the all-time high. Well, not all-time high, but, like, the recent high of uh, a Friday. 32, like, 75-ish. We'll have to see, because that fake out, or I guess that, that early morning sell really got filled. I mean, I mean, we're basically back up to 20% on the day. So, right now, we could actually start chugging. The problem is, the problem is, I really don't like the low volume. Look at this candle. This was a 23,000 volume candle. And uh, yeah, it was red uh, after we had a pretty big, like, you know, 100,000 candle. But, like, it feels really low. It feels very strange to me how this is pushing on this low volume compared to 
I mean, compared to like, look, compared to this candle, let's go to five minute chart. That'll, that'll probably give us a better like understanding. So compare like this, which was uh, 950, 950 at 300,000. Let's go to 950 here. 950, 285,000. Wait, so that was actually a little bit higher. The last low volume day around 25, it pushed to $36 right after. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Although we had the low volume day, kind of. Well, we didn't really have any low volume days. We had low volume pre-market. And then opening was so volume, like the volume here was insane that, that it, it propelled the stock upwards. But volume can also lie too, right? Volume can straight up lie to you and tell you, hey man, this is going to be low volume. And then it just pushes like crazy. So you can't, you can't, you don't really know. Like, like you don't know if it's going to go or not. But I don't know, man. As long as this thing is not $37 in two weeks, I'm sitting pretty. As long as it's not 37 Biden, President Biden calls for capital gains tax hike to be retroactive. Oh, that's why that's why spy is falling, because he wants capital gains tax to be retroactive, which means that let's say that this bill passes, right? Um, instead of instead of your your capital gains tax that you have to pay uh, increase next year, you'll also have to pay more taxes this year. So for your 2021 calendar year taxes, that'll be retroactive rather than being for the 22 2022 year. Oof, that's that's bad. Yeah, I, I can see why uh, stocks are falling off of that. I'm surprised it didn't fall more. I'm surprised it's still green, but I I guess it's really not green because uh it's probably not gonna pass. Like, like no shot, Mitch McConnell and probably a lot of Democrats are gonna allow that to happen. But yeah, let's let's check uh let's check on Young Finance or let's actually just look it up. I kind of want to read that. Oh, here we go. This was two days ago. Oh no, let's see. Joe Biden retroactive taxes. Let's see. Let's see this. Whoops. Uh, where is this? Is there no articles on it already? I think there should be. Oh, here we go. This is 12 hours ago. President Biden's budget adopts one of California's most controversial ideas. Was a confirmation and proposed capital gains tax that would apply retroactively to gains prior to realize gains prior to any change in tax law to 23 to 4. You know how horrible this is? Well, for like a lot of the hedge fund guys, 23.8% to 43.4%. That is nuts. And the rate increase would apply to gains realized starting in late April. Ouch. That is rough. Never has never been a retroactive cap gains tax his increase in the U.S. history. Does not mean it won't be this time. There, but there's not there is a reason not to do that. It leads to asset allocation distortions. Uh, 1986 was prospective. Uh, that's fair. I just think retroactive tax policy is a terrible policy. <laughs> oh, but he's a Republican, so it, it makes sense. But I don't like that either. People have made plans and relied on current law and current policy, and you can't change the rules in the middle of the game. That's fair. I don't think it should be retroactive. I think if they're going to do it, they should do it for next year. Uh, so for the 2022, 2022 year, where, like, obviously we know what's going to happen. Like, like we know, and we can start planning. All right, well, if tax rate's going up, then I can worry less about X, Y, Z, and then we'll, we'll like, see what happens. But... Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think this tax bill will pass regardless. Damn, man, yeah. 30 30 45. So we really tried to hold uh we really tried to hold 3164 and 3169, but I mean, it's just rejecting over here. We'll just have to really see what happens, I guess. It's rejecting. It's 10 a.m. though. So either we see a pretty big pump or a pretty low go. Oh, let's see what uh let's see what they have to say on CNBC. This is pretty important, I think. Now we all know construction's important, new homes, uh, the the lack of supply and the input costs. But there's also labor issues, so there's a lot of moving parts here. 
on ISM Manufacturing for May. Okay, 61.2. 61.2. Now, do up. keep in mind, 64.7 was our number in March. That was the best level in 38 years. So even though this is a bit lofty, it certainly has been a bit higher, but this is as expected. Now, let's go to prices paid, shall we? 89.6 in the rearview mirror, currently mm, at 88. That's bad for Everybody, the dollar. of course, continues to pay super close attention to prices paid. That 89.6. In the rearview mirror was the highest level going back to uh, July of 2008. If we look at new orders, 67.0, that's versus 64.3. And maybe this week of all weeks, considering Thursday's ADP and uh, Friday's big labor report for jobs, well, the employment side, a big disappointment. 50.9 versus 55.1 last month, and an expectation oh, wow. very close to that same level. Where this do you have that mic from so Dark Web? Why? What's wrong with it, Wills? Wills, does this sound awkward? Number for last month. Morgan. Hey, you. Wills, you're making me. Rick you're making Santelli, me. Thank you. We are 30 minutes into the trading session you're here. Are scared? <laughs> you're making me scared, dude. You see, I just don't think it sounds like good on OBS for me. I, I just think it sounds super weird, bro. Like in calls, it's everyone was telling me it sounded fine, but like. When I'm listening to it now, it sounds so awkward. I, I literally just got off of Amazon. <laughs> right off of Amazon. Spy looking like it was going to go green on that, but changed its mind. AMC's... Dude, it, it's holding this $30 so strong. It's really trying to hold this $30 so strong. And it's doing it. It's doing it. Yeah, Wills, you're literally scaring me, bro. I just want to have I just want to have a mic that 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 works, you know. Now you're making it sound like like it doesn't work properly. Everyone's saying good, but now now you're gonna make me switch back over to my Blue Yeti, bro. Mm -hmm. AMC raised two hundred thirty million dollars through the stock sale to Murdoch Capital Management funds for potential acquisitions. Upgrading theaters and deleveraging balance sheet. Great for AMC. Great for AMC. $230 million raised through the stock sale. That's great. Up 16% today. 16 and a half ish really. If we want to be more specific. I don't think short interest really matters that much right now anyway. Because if you can't really borrow that many shares, then no, no real worry, right? UVXY. Dude, holy crap. You're looking at ultra share VIX, bro. You're trading the VIX. Hold up. You're trading the VIX. Oh, wait. Adam Aaron is on the CNBC. He's on. Hold on. This is really important. We should watch this. As investors are really trying to sort of have a rallying cry oh, here. He says, on. quote, he's in our view, tweeting. this is not mindless Dude, delusion, but rather me. this is a very smart way of raising cash so that we can grow this company. And he says, watch out naysayers. AMC is going to play on offense again. And guys, there are plenty of naysayers. AMC still has around $5 billion in debt. Dude, he it just needed to defer me. roughly $450 million in lease repayments during the pandemic as its theaters were closed. Dude, and COVID has hard. fundamentally changed that business. I thought More he was going to talk about, I thought he was on there talking, but no, he's just, he, they're just showing his tweet, dude. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't touch this, bro, by the way. You don't touch triple leveraged short-term futures ETFs. No shot, bro. Don't e Take your money and hold it as far away from that as you possibly can. Like, I I I've played it before. I've tried to. And, and no matter what you do, you somehow always get burned on that. Like, you have to basically... In order for you to make money on that, you need to call, like... Okay, you just watch it. That's good. Yeah, in order for you to actually make money on that, dude, you need to literally call a a Black Tuesday on Monday in order for you to make money on that. So like, you need the market to completely die. You need you need to, there to be like a war, and even still, not even a war because war usually makes the market go up. <laughs> war usually makes the market go up because that means like industrials go up like crazy as well. So, you got to be very, very careful.
Mm, anything happening? It doesn't look like it. Everything looks so boring now. We've got Spy kind of balancing, but being very, very, very boring. We've got AMC also being boring, holding this $30 mark, but can't lie. I won't I won't be mad if it holds this thirty dollar mark because that means I'm up on stock and that means I'm up on uh I'm up on my calls by not by much, but you know, Theta Gang will win. I don't think this will push up to brand new highs. If it does that'd be kinda kinda weird. But yeah, we're we're back up to you know, up twenty two percent on our calls, so really can't be mad about that, right? There's nothing nothing bad going on there. Got Tesla from its one percent gainer all laid back down to 0.6. AMD was given back, gave back some of its gains. OEG is the winner today. OEG. Is that the one that uh, had that big? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that acquired somebody else. That's the one that acquired somebody else. So. I wouldn't. I still wouldn't touch this thing with a with the with the six foot pole because I don't understand it. Definitely, definitely do not want to hop into something I don't understand. At least with AMC, you can un you understand the fundamentals. You understand like what's gonna happen with it. Um. So it's like not not the worst thing to invest in, even though it is a meme hype stock, right? But like something like this, dude. I don't know anything about this. The the pump has gone up seventy five percent. It's not like you would have been in this beforehand anyway. Right? It's not like you were. It's not like OEG was on your radar. <laughs> it wasn't on your radar or anything. It was just kind of there, and you see it on Robinhood top movers. So yeah. Cody up, MOV up. AMD looking like it wants some more. Yeah, I didn't hear about it much. I didn't hear about it at all. I know I'm back down on my forex trade. Rest in peace, dude. This this news looks like it was pushing up the uh, Great Britain pound. Hopefully, it doesn't push it up too high. Let's see what's going on in Discord. Nothing much. Nothing insane. Nothing. Nothing crazy. Mm. Yeah, it seems very very bored. It seems very boring with with uh with like. Market just being kind of kind of flat, really. At least AMC is holding thirty dollars, right? So like once it holds that, there's nothing much. Can AMC reach a hundred dollar this year? No shot. I would I would like there's zero chance AMD hits it because this would look at look at a uh, look at 2015 for example. In 2015, Netflix was not as big. There was no Disney Plus. Hulu was very tiny. Uh, there was no like Showtime Plus, HBO Max, like none of those streaming services existed. Everyone always went to AMC or like Cinemax or, or Cinemark or anything to go watch their movies. And now, uh, and, and they weren't even at $35 or this was a really cash flow pumping stock, right? Um, and then Netflix took over, and then Disney Plus, and then basically everything else. So, AMC hit a hundred dollars, no shot, zero, like zero. In my opinion, there is a zero percent chance that that it'll hit it. How high do you think the squeeze can push it? I think most of the squeeze is. I don't know. I don't really see like that big of a squeeze personally. I just have it in my title, obviously, just in case you know someone like looks up AMC short squeeze, they'll like click the stream and watch. But yeah, I don't really think it's gonna squeeze that high. I think, I think maybe the top is probably in thirty six seventy because uh, I mean volume is pretty low, short interest. You can't really sh short any more shares, right? So it's not like people are are still pushing the thing like crazy. All they really need to do is maintain this price, kind of like what Jimmy. Considering the 99% utilization of short interest. Well, the only way they win, the only way to really do this is to just continue holding AMC at this $30 range. Because the shorts will have to continue paying interest. But the thing with the shorts is that they can continue to pay this interest. right? They can continue to pay this interest for years. Because these are not like you and me who, who have a couple dollars to our name. And, and once that's over, you know, we, we lose money. I mean, these guys can just continue borrowing money. Because at the end of the day, this will probably... Fall right back down to twenty bucks one day, 
and uh, these shorts will be up what fifty percent, and they can easily make up their uh, they can easily make up their their interest payments losses. So I don't know. I don't think I don't think it squeezes that high. I feel like a lot like the company is pretty overvalued for where it should be. So I don't think any shorts will really be forced to to get squeezed up. Especially when a lot, especially, right, as time goes by, people will stop caring that much, right? They'll move on to the next stock. Let's say Tesla starts running like crazy. People will be like, you know what, AMC's not really moving that much. How about $50? Ah, These are, like, just so astronomically high prices, bro. Look at that, like, 15-minute chart. If we were to go, like, you can't even really view that, dude. That would need to be another... Where are we like that would need to be another 60% run 65% run that is so unbelievably high that is so unbelievably high another 60% run I don't I don't think it's possible I mean I could see us touching like 37 again a lot of people don't plan to sell their shares until like a hundred thousand dollars uh yeah, those of you who are delusional. Those are the same people that said, like, uh, you know, Bitcoin to 1 million this month. <laughs> or the same people that were thinking GME was going to hit, you know, $10,000 or something. Or the same people that think that, like, uh, altcoins that have, like, a trillion dollars in... Or, or actually, better example. The same people that think Doge is going to $100. Because, you know, dude, Bitcoin went to 50000 so it should be easy for Dogecoin to hit a hundred dollars right dogecoin could probably hit bitcoin prices those people are uh they're de they're delusional and we're and now we're falling back under 30 so we we are we're dipping now we're dipping uh yeah cloudera went from uh cloudera went to 1596 that is insane Mm. It's like holding thirty dollars. Very weird. Tesla's going back down. Tesla had a big red candle right there. AMD also had that red candle. Everything had that red candle. Spy had that red. Thoughts on Trace Trades? He's one of the biggest influences. Oh yeah, he's. I don't know if he's like one of the biggest influences, but he's he's huge, dude. Like <laughs> there is me. And then there's Matt Coors, dude. And then uh, where's Trey? I don't know where Trey is, but we got me Kevin over there. Dude, like, look, imagine, imagine if I had thirty-seven thousand viewers. That'd be insane. Let's see, Trey's trade, Trey's trades. Uh, how much viewers does he have right now? He's is he live? He's not even live. I'm surprised. Usually this guy's live. Weird. What's a Mocha GME? GME is not doing too much. Damn, imagine like Matt Course has 38,000 viewers right now. That is insane. Holy. There's a lot of people streaming this. There's like a lot of viewers. Sheesh. Oh, wow. Look at look at Spy just dumping over here. What's happening? Biden say something or something? Spy's about to go red. Spy is... Spy's red in like a second. Zero percent. Come on, you want to go red spy? It jumped in. What's up? Nothing much. Just uh, just chilling today. We're about almost two hours into the stream. Just watching AMC do its thing, watching all these meme stocks do its thing, and watching Spy literally die. <laughs> yeah, Spy wants to go red today. Q is already red. Q is down 0.4 percent. Wow. You fell. Net fell. Oh, no. Please don't tell me AMD is going to get hit by this. AMD got hit by it. Ouch. That means Palantir is red. Yeah, Palantir is now down 2%. Ouch. So does this mean I'm red on the day? I think this means I'm red on the day. Uh, Yeah, I am, uh, I am red on the day because of this. Feels bad. But at least my calls are up on AMC. And, uh... DraftKings is down. Palantir took a hit. Yeah, everything's kind of taking a hit right now. Spy is only up 0.01%. And that's probably going to fall right back down there. 
Tesla Red. Okay, let's see what some of these other stocks are up to. Bitcoin fell. Dude, it's kind of weird. Bitcoin fell with SPY right there. TQQQ is down almost at 100 bucks. Even Roblox took this hit. Something, uh, I wish CNBC was on so we could actually see what's, what was happening here, but everything kind of fell. Volatility just spiked. We've got Zuo down to 15 bucks. Roku, yeah, market is, uh, market's looking red now. Market's looking red. Amazon down, Apple down. Everything pretty much down a little bit. We're holding 420 though. Let's go. Stoners Unite. We're holding 420. That's great. That's funny. 420, dude. 420 is holding. Hold the line, 420. And then we have AMC. Just casual 30 bucks. Casual 30 bucks. Doesn't know what it wants to do with itself. Um, but if AMC continues to fall in my fall, I just lost my life savings on spy calls. I bought it open. Wait, oh yeah, Sip, I saw you send me the message, but like, since I was streaming, I didn't I didn't respond to it. Were you still holding those? What were you in? You were in a uh, spy June 1st, 21, 420 calls. Did you sell them or did you hold them? Cause if you if you uh if you didn't sell them, then you, you probably lost a lot, right? Those are probably back down to uh those are probably back down to what, negative four. 40 50 percent how much are you down ux uvxy goes up when mark goes down yeah that's basically vix i have uh i, I track the vix somewhere here where'd vix go i don't know it like reorganized it like changed my thing so so strangely yeah i like changed the whole thing LMO MJK, I sold four out of six of them for fifty percent, and then I sold the other two out of six for negative twenty percent. Came up with like two hundred twenty dollars profit. I mean, off of uh, off of five hundred sixty bucks, that's pretty solid. At least, at least you not a bad play when I was down fifty percent on Friday. Yeah, not a bad play at all. Not a bad play. Holy crap, dude! AMC one second chart is disgustingly fast. Don't even have access to that. Upgrade now. Oh, I used to have access to this, access to this, but we don't have it anymore. Five second chart. Yeah, feels bad. We don't actually have access to second by second chart. You know how crazy that'd be? It'd be like up, 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 up. It's like, dude, that'd be, that'd be nuts. Okay, let's go back to the one minute. Let's let's use the one minute. See what we can get over there. Thirty thirty three. AMC raised two hundred thirty million dollars through sock sale. Yeah, we saw that news earlier. And yeah, who cares though? It has fallen right back down. It can't hold thirty dollars to save its life, I swear. It just can't do it. Twenty nine thirty nine. Oh, it's it's dipping. Uh, is it cause spy is going back up? So spy is bouncing and AMC is 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 dropping. We've got Q bouncing as well. I like to see when Q bounces. We've got Tesla also bouncing. Dude, Sip, if you were to get like a spy call now, I wouldn't do it. But like, it doesn't know if it wants to go up or, or wants to go down. It's, dude, it's like so strange. Today's a really strange day in the market. Good day for apps, Lottos. Let's check apps, uh, APPS. Why is today a good day for apps, Lotto, Sip? It is currently down a percent and uh, it hit a high. Do you see all these red lines here? That is resistance. This has so much resistance up there. Look at that. Look at that, dude. So much resistance. Apps is now down 1% on the day. And keeps falling, obviously. And Spy keeps falling. ER tonight, are you playing it or are you just watching it? Because if you're playing it, uh, I wish you the best of luck. But... <laughs> I think Theta, I think Theta Gang will will probably come out on top there. Why don't you sell calls against it, or sell puts against it? Playing, of course. You think it'll beat? Spy almost ready, and you think it'll beat? I don't know. I think if Spy's red today and it beats, it'll probably red. It'll probably go red. But then again, you you know apps way better than I do. Like I don't touch apps. 
and wow, we we can't hold uh we can't hold thirty. We can't hold twenty nine. If we fall down here, I want to see if this breaks. I know they will beat. Just depends if Tech keeps being trash. Yeah, Tech is being pretty trash. Now, main thing is if. I mean, GME started pushing, but it, it just fell right back down. AMC bounced right off that line. Okay, well, is that going to be a W reversal? Is that going to be the, the double bottom where where we just, you know, push right back up from here? Do we go like there? Maybe, probably not, though, considering the market is being really trash. That was a pretty big volume candle sell. That volume was actually higher than market open with the sell. Very strange things happening. Market is very bipolar right now. It doesn't know what it wants to do with itself. Spy is like literally 0%. It just wants to hold 420 so bad. Is it going to fall? It fell past 420. No. Stoners cannot hold Spy properly. It couldn't hold it. It just didn't know what to do. And then we've got some GME over there. We've got some AMC. AMD, no, AMD took the hit as well. Yeah, I think I'm down today, boys. Actually, no, I'm currently still up uh, about 1%. So, could be worse. And, and wow, my spot. So, okay, this is really funny, right? Even though AMC is still up 12.6%, Theta Gang is literally helping me so much that I'm only down half a percent on my, uh, on my AMC calls that I sold. That's nuts. That is nuts. But anyway, it is almost two hours that I've been streaming, which is quite a long time, actually. Two hours. Mm, let's see. Foo fallen. Spy fallen. GME fallen. Everything's kind of fallen. Palantir bouncing off the lows. Tesla as well. Nasdaq is red now, and Spy and Dow. Dow's only up 100. Did, did Boeing fall? Okay, Boeing fell to what? Boeing fell to up 2% today. Like, not the worst, but not the best either. But yeah, uh, we're basically at the two-hour mark, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end stream right here. Um, I guess there's not really that much to do right now, right? Hey, what's up, Verb? high dots but yeah i'm gonna end stream here um probably stream end of the day depending how that goes let's see where amc is at but yep catch you guys in the next one adios